we get into a tournament, the last couple of years we finish with the team that we play to start the tournament off. So, um, you know, good game overall. Obviously, the the big two guys, you know, sitting to my left, the two the two arms that threw for us uh, was huge. Uh, Caven did a great job getting us 15 outs, doing a really good job, and then Braden coming in and getting the last uh, 12. You know, we weren't going to use Ben Abelt. I think he threw 55 or 60 pitches on Saturday. And those two guys did a phenomenal job. And then obviously Brody kind of giving us a little bit more distance um, with the home run in the, in the top of the ninth was, was key too. So really good baseball game. And um, I'll open it up to, to you guys and questions for, for our guys. Lawrence Dow for Star Telegram. How did you feel about your offense in this game? You guys scored in, I think, four consecutive innings, but you also had your bases loaded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking at the numbers. We probably left a lot of, probably 15 guys on base. Um, we only left seven. It felt like 15. Yeah, I think, um, you know, you got to give credit to, to West Virginia. They, they did a good job pitching out of some, some, different, some different innings and limiting, you know, um, our innings and not letting us get crooked numbers, you know, which made the game – you know, closer than what I thought it probably was. In terms, of I thought we had a good offensive game plan. Thought we executed pretty well. Uh, just didn't really get the big hit uh, to kind of bust it open. But you know, when you're pitching like the two guys over here to my left did, um, you know, it covers up for for maybe not being able to get some guys in and, and kind of getting some crooked numbers. But you know, give credit to West Virginia. They did a really good job. They've done a great job all year with Coach Maisie and his group. So um, just a good win. Parker, Matt Tallarini from World Baseball Network. Today you threw five innings, allowed two hits, two earned runs, four walks, seven strikeouts, and only 80 pitches. What What is just your biggest composure with um, just, the, just the catcher staff and also the pitching staff, let alone uh, to get you guys to where you are at this point in the year? Um, I mean, I kind of feel like it's all due to the coaches that we have kind of guiding us in the right direction on how to handle you know adversity, going one pitch at a time and things like that. And for me, you know, obviously, I was really just trying to take it pitch by pitch, batter by batter. Um, uh, my biggest thing has been a short memory, a lot of confidence, and just trying to execute as many pitches out of my totals as I can. Um, so that's kind of been the biggest thing was just from guys like Ryan Howard and, and Justin Lacerio and obviously Coach Long and Coach Lowe's just kind of guidance for, for all those things. Good question. This is for both pitchers. Just how were you guys able to constantly stymie West Virginia when they would get when they did get runners into a scoring position? Uh, what I'll say for me is it's honestly a testament to outside factors in my life for anyone like paying attention to the season. I went through a pretty rough um, couple of months where I just wasn't seeing good outings and a testament to the coaches just having faith in me, kept throwing me out there, letting me work through what I needed to work through. Um, and honestly, what God has done for me. Um, in the moment, it's tough when you have a rough patch. I didn't have a good outing for like two months, and I couldn't really see in the moment why it was happening, what was happening. But God really just showed me why his thoughts are higher than my thoughts and why his ways are higher than my ways. And he provided me through that two-month period with the tools I needed to go out there and do what I did for the team today. Um, and then on top of that, just the defense playing phenomenally behind me. So every time, or like when I got the runner on base, just Cabo being a wall back there and defenders making really good plays. Question. Yeah, Jay Fitzgerald Frog today. Uh, Kirk, that was about as good of a baseball game as you played all all year. What was aside from the result? What was the biggest, most impressive takeaway from today? Uh, I just think the resiliency after a tough weekend, especially a tough ninth inning against West Virginia on Saturday. Um, you know, the guys being able to, you know, to come back and bounce back against the same team. You know, and I think the, the difference today, we ran into a ball. I know they ran into a ball. That was the difference in the weekend when we played them, you know, at Lupton was, you know, I think the majority of their runs were on one swing of the bat, the home run. And Globe Life plays a little bit like TD Ameritrade, a little bit bigger. Um, Suave did a really good job, obviously, hitting a uh, two-run homer. But, I mean, for the most part, you know, I think executing pitches and, and um, playing stellar defense, you know, but overall, to get back to your question, was there was no hangover effect from a really tough way to end a regular season two days ago. You know, I thought they put it in the rearview mirror. They were ready to go and um, just played really clean baseball, which, which was great.
Jacob Richmond loved Star Life or Caveman. Can you kind of tell me, is, is there a moment where you really started to settle in there? I think this was your longest outing to date. Uh, was there a moment you kind of feel yourself just being productive, getting through batters maybe a little quicker than usual? Um, I mean, one thing that we talk about a lot is, is the mental game and kind of it's all in the preparation. And so for me, you know, I try to do a good job of all day yesterday getting good sleep and obviously today you know, getting a good breakfast and just mentally preparing for all of that. And, you know, like I said earlier, I think that for me a big thing is just confidence. Um, and I wouldn't say there's one specific moment where I settled in. Um, but, again, just taking it pitch by pitch, I kind of just felt in a rhythm, you know, throughout the majority of it. Brody, two for four day today, uh, starting off with the triple in the third inning that got you guys going offensively and capping off in the ninth inning with the solo home run. What is just for having your offense um, just build a pack, like with the chemistry you guys have throughout the season? Could you ask that question again? <laughs> How did you feel about your performance today at the plate and just the chemistry you have with um, all the guys and teammates um, with your performance this year? I mean, today's just today. Um, I've been kind of struggling, kind of just trying to find my swing again, coming back. So it was just nice to have some success. But tomorrow's a new day. It's baseball, so I'm going to go out there, um, try to just hit the ball again. It's in the box swing. Um, but other than that, I think the team chemistry on offense is kind of just growing. Hits, uh, as you get hits, it just carries on the next guy. So just pass the baton, kind of. Zion Trammell, a TCU fan nation. This is for Brody. Just specifically with the solo home run in the ninth, could you talk about your approach a little bit at the play, what you were looking for in that at bat? Um, I was just looking for something over the plate to hit. Uh, I was just in my head, get on top of a fastball. And so I got a fastball and tried to stay on top of it and got a good swing on it. That was about it. Question. All good? All right, cool. guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. Thanks for your coverage. Thank you. Thank you.